TED is also about uh, actually solving big issues. And our next speaker is kind of an embodiment of TED in many ways. He's a cross-disciplinary thinker who's focused on a big issue. And I know that because I had the privilege of working with him. Josh Walkman and his team are taking on something that George Whiteside talked about earlier, which is the issue of compliance in medicine. And I think after you hear Josh talk, you'll, you'll realize what they're doing is definitely an idea we're spreading. Josh Walkman. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. So yes, my talk is on the future of medication packaging and being a jerk. This is my daughter. Here she is on our family vacation, imitating my bad habits. <laughs> you remember, right? Let's pause to consider the world she will grow up in and the assumptions she will maintain. The objects on the left are alien to her. The objects on the right represent innovations which emerged during my lifetime. She won't think twice about them. Faucets that sense when to run, images stored electronically, music played without moving parts, carefree walks on the beach, wait for it, wait, 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 okay. Phones you wear, games you play with faraway people, even tangible improvements to fruit. <laughs> but not all changes are technical improvements of convenience, safety, and speed. There have also been changes in societal norms that make this world a better place. This year we witnessed a change towards leadership that is pigment blind and a more expansive definition of marriage. During my lifetime, we've also witnessed several public service campaigns that have delivered us a safer, more environmentally conscious, smoke-free world. Unfortunately, societal changes took a generation to permeate. Wouldn't it be great if your attitudes and behaviors could be upgraded as quickly as your mobile handset? I posit that we can intentionally design products to cause rapid changes in societal behavior. Let's focus on one example, a change in pill packaging that improves medication-taking behavior. Vitality glow caps are an innovation in medication packaging, but I think of them as technology that packages societal change. Here's why. Adherence to maintenance meds are definitively low, causing hundreds of billions of dollars each year in preventable costs. There's scientific evidence that high adherence to prescription medication saves money and improves health. With the baby boomer bulge, it is ever more imperative to get people to stay healthy, <laughs> but it's not happening. The yellow region on this graph represents the millions of people who stopped taking Lipitor, the blockbuster of all blockbusters, during their first year. How can we improve their behavior? The root causes of non-adherence are well known, as are the effective solutions, each of which GlowCaps addresses, except in deference to, to George and people feeding their Lipitor to their dogs. <laughs> so here's how smart medication packaging can make a difference. Doctors diagnose and prescribe electronically. Pharmacists fill meds in smart packaging like GlowCaps. At home, glow caps flash, then sound more and more insistently that it is time to take your pill. An accompanying nightlight creates additional awareness by flashing at the same time. The two devices talk wirelessly. The cap records and uploads its data automatically. With connectivity, powerful new feedback loops that positively affect adherence are suddenly viable. Patients are contacted if they miss a dose. Progress is shared with friends and loved ones, creating accountability and awareness with those that care most. A report card with coupons and educational content arrives in the mail each month. And the prescribing doc is kept in the loop, providing authoritative oversight. Even the patient's social network may engage, nurturing peer comparisons <laughs> in the venues where these conversations are already taking place. An embedded display on the cap helps account for each day's dose, mitigating the concern, did I take it already? And a refill me button on the glow cap triggers a call to pharmacy for an automatic refill. Think of this as OnStar for your pill bottle. Continuous measurement enables novel pricing, with cash awards going to those people who behave. You can think about this as how your auto insurance is cheaper if you don't speed. All this in service of better health and lower cost. I'm pleased to report that GlowCaps achieved 86% adherence in a Boston beta test this spring, significantly higher than the 50% benchmark which the industry respects. So GlowCaps represent change to me, to my daughter. They're just how her dad takes his medication. Let me conclude with a comment on the rate of change. It's accelerating faster and faster. In physics, this metric is literally called a jerk. Today, many technical problems can be solved more rapidly than ever. Harnessing technology's gallop to affect behavior change can pay dividends to society. And fortunately, we live in a time during which the resources and tools necessary to enable a small team to affect change has never been less. With the pace of change jerking us forward, it will become ever easier for us to make a difference. So my charge to you is, why aren't you creating a new product, starting a company, or igniting a campaign to change the world? Why not two or three simultaneously? Today, it is practical. Next week, my daughter welcomes her sister, as I do. What can we expect to change during her lifetime? 
my sincerest hope is that she's an agent of jerk.